Well, good afternoon. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, Tuesday's end of day's trading session, the 25th of April 2017. Please be sure to visit uh, Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay. Right, let's try and attempt to decipher these markets. Certainly uh, proving very, very tricky. Uh, certainly negative this week. Uh, certainly stops out on the French CAC on the yesterday, uh, minus 140, and subsequently stopped out on the rest of my short trades as well. Uh, so certainly not a, a positive for week for me at all. It's certainly a negative one. Certainly very hard to read this market, especially given the fact that we have the uh, the euro now uh, rallying, the latest euro rally. We have I attempted to take a short on the euro. I was stopped out on this as well. Latest rally on the euro is up to 1.0950 now. Okay, so euro is certainly moving higher, yet having no effect whatsoever on uh, European equities. As we already know, uh, an inverse relationship between the euro and uh, the German DAX exists, uh, with it being negative. Uh, even European uh, economic equ equities, such as the CAC and the euro stocks, uh, stronger euro generally, in, generally is considered to be negative. It negates the actual... Uh, export side of the equation and therefore is is risk negative in terms of obviously defeating jobs and so on and so forth so interesting scenario here with regards to the pop in the euro especially given the fact that we are going into thursday and there was an ecb leak as well uh, with regards to the um, the actual uh, uh, ecb indicating a potential gradual or hawkish stance going forward and obviously um, tapering as well in terms of their QE, especially given the fact that the uh, the uh, uncertainty regarding the French election is now over. So that'll be interesting to see how the markets react and how the markets basically move. Uh, and it certainly seems like they, they're already discounting that factor in already. OK, so we'll certainly take that into consideration too. OK, so uh, the stats for the day. Uh, European session, FTSE up 10 points, DAX up 12 French CAC up nine, so more or less a, a, a consolidation day, trading sideways. Okay, economic data releases. I think the only major release really since this morning's video was the UK US data, Red Book, uh, S and P K Schiller, house prices, consumer confidence. So guys, consumer confidence on the weaker side. Uh, new home sales certainly on the stronger side. House prices as well, Red Book as well, certainly helping uh, the sentiment in terms of the US. Now we also had stronger earnings as well from the likes of Caterpillar certainly helping as well to a large extent okay now let's see exactly where we stand let's look at the german dax again the weekly chart resistance certainly comes into play moving over to the daily chart certainly a doji candle registered no real thrust for continuation higher 60 minute chart certainly at topping tail certainly holding on the german dax let's see what we do when we start to reverse that'll be interesting now especially with regards to this ecb leak sending the euro above 1.0950 that is certainly risk negative okay and therefore one would expect the double top on the german dax to hold and then start to reverse so no higher high registered and therefore looking for weakness french cac is the same we've put in a double top at the uh, 5295 level therefore no higher high and therefore looking for risk aversion 60 minute chart certainly looks like a top heavy and therefore you have the unfilled gap below that certainly needs to close now the daily chart the french cac two doji candles in a row and therefore indicating exhaustion and one would expect a potential pullback especially given the fact that we are into weekly chart resistance which is double top okay so certainly take that into consideration FTSE 100 10 minute chart certainly indicating a H&S formation pattern towards a close the pivot high at 7290 certainly rejected okay bear that in mind 60 minute chart we're holding 200 MA and therefore looking for weakness again 10 minute chart on the FTSE again I've already explained HNS formation daily chart on the FTSE we're into previous support equals resistance and into that FIB 61% resistance as well and therefore indicating a risk aversion so you are looking for weakness and looking for a potential move lower on the FTSE itself also given the fact that we are into the inside bar of that weekly candle and therefore a bearish uh, candle exists and, and remains uh, intact especially considering the fact that you have sterling strength and obviously election uncertainty going forward into June. Okay, so bear that in mind. Euro stocks, last but not least, let's just quickly look at the Euro stocks, a doji candle registered. Although having said that, there is an unfilled gap that certainly needs to close on the Euro stocks, which is at 3604. So certainly take that into consideration as well. 60 minute chart, certainly looks overstretched to me now. This looks extremely, extremely overbought. 
and certainly is due a pullback. 10 minute chart certainly indicating a weakness. Rising contracting wedge pattern, okay, from my uh, interpretation. And certainly looking for weakness here. Okay, so again, you have a potential for a HS top as well. Your left shoulder here, head obviously in the right shoulder. You also have a bear flag formation here as well, so therefore looking for a flush lower. Okay, so the flush if it were to occur, you are looking to test that support around at uh, 3560. So watch out for that support at 3560 to be tested in terms of the next move. So 10 minute chart no longer making higher highs, higher lows, making lower lows, lower highs. And therefore, like I said, you're looking for potential support at 3570 and then 3560. Okay. That's a summation of uh, the uh, equity markets. Let's just quickly look at copper now as well. Copper still remains subdued, still remains weak. Okay, so bear in mind you have a bear flag formation. Okay, on the, on the chart of copper. Let's just quickly bring up oil. Oil still remains subdued, still remains weak. Certainly a strong possibility you could retest that support at 47. So watch out for support at 47. So, okay, so US markets dictate. Okay, and uh, US markets, the Russell is certainly into double top. SP 500. Now also into resistance two on the horizontal chart, okay, and therefore you're looking you're looking for risk aversion to kick in here, and looking for a potential move lower. Okay, on that note, please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of the bonus. Goodbye. Now.